Hello and welcome to another RetroJunkie.net video. Today we'll be going through the uh, entire process of uh, modding a PlayStation 1 uh, with uh, a mod chip. Now we're also going to make the mod chip. So over here we have uh, from Element 14, Farnell, a bunch of uh, microchips. So we only need one. That's fine. We've got some uh, 30AWG wire, USB cable, and a programmer which does PIC. Now, these particular ones are PIC 12C508A. The 8 pin. So the PlayStation we're working with is a one of the last of these types without the uh, parallel I.O. port there. There's the model number just there. So SCPH9002. So we're going to go ahead and uh, fire up the program. And we'll start there. Okay, so right now we are firing up the uh, chip burner software uh, for the burner I'm using over here. Good old GQ4X. Got our little microchip there. This particular one is a 12C508A. So let's go look it up in the uh, devices. Ahem, click it, you... what the hell? <sighs> Had to pick the wrong one. Should overclock my computer, so it's not running as fast as it should. That's better. See that the manufacturer is microchip. Very creative. Okay, so now that's switched over. And over here it tells us how to insert the chip, which is very useful. So it's uh, somewhere in the middle of the damn thing. That, that's, that's fun. Notch faces the top. How many spaces you reckon are there? One, two, three, four, don't know what it looks like, it's... There. Does that look about right? Five. Sort of five there. Well, we'll see how we go anyway. The next step is to load up the code. Now, it was a bit difficult to choose between the, um, oh, so many options for mod chips. So I've actually gone with the um, multi-mode 3, which uh, you know, seems to be a decent one. There is something wrong with my Parallels installation. Looking for a hex file. There it is. And they are region locked from what I can tell. We've got a European PAL console. Choose the European one. And I'll leave those as defaults. Bunch of code blank tab that doesn't do anything. User ID and configuration. Okay, so it's good. I can configure it. 
I'll just have to go double check what on earth I meant to put in here. Okay, so I've decided to leave these at their default settings because I couldn't find out what they are. So, simple as that, you just hit uh, right. It's now programming. Configuration verified failed. There you go. All done. And these are only one time programmable. <laughs> Which means I've just thrown out a chip. It's funny because I later found out you could use a there was some updated code of the MM3 or some flash chips which are rewritable. So I'm, I'm going down that path. Stay tuned, we'll have a video on it, a proper one. Thanks for watching. Hope you learned how not to flash a mod chip. Uh.